Okay, yeah, so we're going to talk about a new adaptation of uh, Q equals IT. So this is actually one of the, you can work out the charge that passes the point. So I've had a current here. So I've got current of five amps. And I'm looking at this point. I want to know that how much current, how much charge passes this point in, let's say, uh, three milliseconds. So pause the video. What uses this formula and work out how much charge passes this point in three milliseconds? Okay, so using Q equals IT, I'm going to have 5 times 3 times 10 to the minus 3, and that's going to be 0 0.015, okay? So 0 0.015 coulombs is going to pass this, okay? So we do know that electrons are the flow, uh, the current is the flow of electrons. So current is the flow of electrons around the circuit. Now, one electron doesn't have that much charge. In fact, one electron has 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs of charge. It doesn't have much charge at all. But what I want to know is that I know this current. So this is basically a way of it making us easier to understand. Um, we're not talking about the electron flow, we're just talking about the current, okay? And that will relate down to how many electrons are passing. But what we can do is we can actually find out how many electrons will pass it, have passed this point in three milliseconds. So I know this much charge is at this point in three milliseconds. And I know one electron is this charge here. So I want to find out how many electrons went that point. So I want to find out how many electrons made this much charge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the charge, the total charge, I'm going to divide it by the charge of one electron. So I'm going to have 0 0.015 over 1 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. So I'm going to put this into my calculator. So I've got 0 0.015 divided by 1.6. Remember, I use this button for the times 10 to the minus 19. And it's telling me that in these three milliseconds, I'm having 9.375 times 10 to the 6, 16, 16 electrons going past. So there's 9.375 times 10 to the 16 electrons passing this point in 3 milliseconds. Okay. It always should be a big number. All right. It always should be a lot. So what do we change it up and then let have you guys work this from scratch? So let's have another go. So I'm going to have a different situation. Uh, we're going to do two different situations. So I've got this one here. I've got two amps, and I want to know how many electrons pass this point in 1.3 milliseconds. So just to make you aware, the charge of one electron is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. So I want to work out, first of all, how much charge is at that point, and then tell me how many electrons at that point. Okay. And this one, okay, we're going to do it a little bit differently. Okay, this situation, working a bit backwards. So this is 1.2 seconds. We're not milli, we're just in seconds. Okay. And I want to know what the current is when I have, going through this point, I'm going to have 1.2 times 10 to the 10 electrons are going to pass through this point in 1.2 seconds. Can you find, first of all, you need to find the charge again. What is the total charge? And then what's my current? Pause the video and have a go. Okay, so this one, Q equals IT. So I've got two times 1.3 times 10 to the minus three. I've got a total charge of 2.6 times 10 to the minus three coulombs. And of course, how many electrons go past? I'm going to take this 2.6 times 10 to the minus 3, and I'm going to divide it by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. So 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. And I get quite a few electrons. I've got 1.625 times 10 to the 16 electrons. So 1.625 times 10 to the 16 electrons going past this point. Okay. So for this one, a little bit different. So I want to know the total charge. So I know that this is how many electrons are passing. And I know that one electron has this charge. 
So I'm going to do 1.2 times 10 to the 10, that's how many electrons, and they have that much charge each. So times by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. Okay, so 1.2, so I'll just show you what I'm doing, 1.2 times 10 to the 10, plus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. So in total, there is 1.92 times 10 to the minus 9 coulombs passing that point. Okay, so this is, I know that one electron has this charge, so I know the charge total at this point. I, of course, is going to be Q divided by the time, so it's going to be this divided by 1.2. And I have got a current of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 9 amps. So um, I haven't actually got many electrons flowing, that kind of makes sense. Here, I've got 2 amps of current, okay, I've got 2 amps of current flowing through here, and there's quite a lot of electrons passing through. I've got, in 1.3 milliseconds, I've got 1.625 times 10 to the 16 electrons passing through this point. But this time, I, I've got a million times less than that. That's really small. And it's going for longer. So there must be a very tiny flow of current there. OK, so that is just an adaptation on using Q equals IT and developing um, a little bit more about the charge of the electron. You will be given the charge of the electron if they ever want you to do that.